Welcome to the High Tech Investments News Report for Week 6. The news report covers some of the many investments projects High Tech Investments is currently involved in so you can follow our progress. We hope you will enjoy this news feed and look forward to your comments and remarks. Hi, Bo here and welcome back to this week's news report. Once again, we have plenty of news, plenty of updates, and obviously we're going to go through all of our trading. One of the things that I wanted to highlight here today is basically the slow and steady uh, wins the race progress. And uh, we are actually looking at either propriety trading or we are looking for a steady and uh, very soft improvements every single week, every single month. We have exactly the EAs for that. We have actually the settings and we will also show you exactly how long it's going to take you to get to a certain point where you are then no longer relying on your normal day-to-day -day job. But obviously first, let's start off with the yield notes and update on the cinema. Uh, at the moment here, we haven't seen much change at all coming out of yield notes. All we know here is that Q1 of 2024 is already well underway. We are almost halfway through the first quarter. We got the white paper back in December 2023, and this is the one you see here. There's about 34, 35 pages of this particular one in here explaining exactly the progress uh, and the developments of the uh, Decenemy project here again, or Yield Notes Pro. But we haven't really heard any updates and also when we are looking through the white paper if you have done this i do apologize for the poor um, quality for this particular one but when we blow it up from uh, the pdf document unfortunately it's not very clear but we can see that uh, it has the timeline in here with 2024 the first part is increased acceptance and understanding uh, can this enemy coins so tailored solution for economy sectors and then further development of this enemy coins there is more coming in uh, like economy resilience through the coin diversification so secure infrastructure artificial intelligence so obviously a lot of these things is very nice words but there is no particular timeline as you can see for this everything looks to be coming into place in 2024 but it would have been very nice to have a bit more of a scheduled approach of exactly where we're going to be, when the money is going to be back in the account, when we can expect things to start happening again. Uh, it's all obviously nice words, but we want to see some action from yield notes. And unfortunately, there's nothing new for that particular week here. Now, obviously, we have also had a look on the website where it normally shows you the cur current value of assets and you can go in there and uh, actually also contact yield notes if you want to be an asset provider basically put some of your business in there and then be paid in either sap or other types of coins uh, but the number that you see on the screen here is the same one it has been for pretty much uh, all the time since the, this happened to yield notes last year and uh, nothing seems to have changed so i certainly hope something in the background is moving forward moving forward is not really the sap or sapphire coin here either at the moment we're having a closer look at it to see how the development is as we are getting uh, through q1 as i just mentioned here but last week we left the coin at that particular time here at what we have as six zeros and then two one this particular week it's simply jumped up to uh, 22 instead here so not a massive improvement after a bit of a dive so we'll have to see if anything comes out of this uh, shortly but it looks still to be uh, very very calm waters nothing really uh, can excite the uh, coin price here at the moment for sap the same goes also for the uh, staking last week it actually looked something like this and uh, that means from the 28th since then we haven't gotten anything else in as you can see there's nothing for february at all which is a bit disappointing but we have mentioned here before and especially when you look through the list that sometimes it takes a bit of time in between you can see here is the 29th of december and then 11th of january you have the next one and then eight days in between three days in between so it is very much uh, random uh, at the moment for how often we are actually getting paid. So, uh, so far, nothing is really coming in on the SAP part. The second part is the PNY. Also here, you can see nothing has come in since the 
31st of January. So again, there's nothing in here, no uh, profits for February so far. Obviously also a bit disappointing for this particular one, but similar to what I just shown you here on the SAP, we can also see there's changes in between here of when things are happening and when they're not. Here, yeah, there's only one day in between, then you have three, then you have five, but this is obviously a long stretch for the PNY also not to receive anything back at all. Now, the good news is that the uh, Bitcoin versus USDT is uh, currently up. So last week we left it just around the 43,000 mark. And since then it was trading sideways for three or four days and then basically taking off, hitting 48,000. So getting very close to the 50,000 mark here. Um, so good news, at least for all the ones who hold Bitcoin, which we also do at the moment. It will be interesting to see if the rise can continue or it can be basically a new all-time low for 2024. Obviously, we'll hope so. It will pull a lot of other currency pairs with it uh, as things are developing. Things are not really developing either in the trillion uh, news section in here. The latest part that we have is simply a reminder that you have to protect yourself from hackers against um, basically getting your platform hacked within the Trillion platform. You can activate the two-factor authentication. So they are telling you again here that recently we have increased uh, notice that some of our customers has been uh, hacked and obviously would like to, to protect the accounts better. And you can do that by the two-factor authentication in here. Definitely it is a very, very good idea. It gives you an extra layer of protection for you. And as we are waiting for more news and basically development on the platform for Trillion itself, it would be a good thing to set this up. So if things are starting to move again, definitely you are ready for it. The other part is the important notice. Uh, spill the legal review is uh, ongoing. And again, just a bit of information here. As you know, the business life is characteristic by constant challenges and changes. And they write here, we would like to inform you about the important development of our company. We are currently undergoing the compliance review due to negative reports in the media. Again, it is also uh, coming back to uh, a bit of lack of information through the Trillion platform here, definitely, what has happened. And uh, again, the lawyers are, are continuous to, to work on this particular part, what now it means for you. As due to the ongoing legal review, we are temporarily forced to take the following unfortunate steps. Deposit of the Litecoin and Bitcoin to activate new add-on packages is still on pause. Payout of the Trillion and Trillion external on XT.com is also on pause. And then profit on the staking of Trillion and add-on at the associated commissions are also paused. Basically means the platform is a bit uh, sort of limited in what you can do. But it says other services remain in place. The trillion payment from the back office to back office, uh, as well as the trillion coupons are still working. And also the trillion payment to the Trillando shop partners and companies are still working. And then the trillion payout to Coinstore and uh, XT.com is also running. So obviously uh, we um, yeah, find this very unfortunate. Uh, it continues to actually be like this here now for a couple of months. And we're hoping that uh, something new and better is going to come out of the Trillion platform very, very soon. Let's have a quick look also just to see how CoinStory and the tree platform um, with the coin is developing. And it hasn't really developed much. Last week uh, we were at 0 0.002207. And since then it has dropped uh, just slightly down to 0 0.002120. And uh, you can basically call it uh, sideways trading at the moment. Uh, nothing much is happening of the exciting part until I believe that we hear some news that the platform is coming back into play again, and then we might see some big movements. Big movements is not something we have seen on the money three for week six. They are quite small. They have been in a bit of a drawdown, uh, which obviously happens from time to time with any EA. The low risk one only managed $42 or 0.5% medium risk. So is also a smaller account. So that's why they only made $18 or 0.4% and then the high risk account. Also only a $5,000 account compared to the low risk of 10. 
uh, still made $27 or 0.5%. So nothing major to come out of the money tree for this particular week. But as uh, we have mentioned now a couple of times, in the beginning when we tested the money tree, we used too big of a lot size. We made some adjustments and after we hit rock bottom here, just over $4,000, Things, as you can see, have been looking a lot, lot better. We are sort of trying to manage it the best way on how this EA has to be done. And so far, we're doing quite well. After 290 days, we are getting very close uh, to the all-time high that we previously had. We had already received our money back. Equity is just below five, so we are almost there. So hopefully after the last couple of trades here, then the uh, equity will be back into 5,000. You can also see the number of trades in percentage down here. So obviously quite a few, the medium risk is uh, trading overall. Same thing here for the high risk one. The high risk one uh, lost even more back then. So we're all down to 3,200 roughly, but has also now broken back up at least on the balance side on the equity side we are still down because the floating profit at the moment is down by 1265 so obviously uh, quite high but uh, that is the nature of the money tree again in here and again same currency pairs that is currently being traded on it also account 290 days let's see if we can get out of this drawdown next week and get some positive equity on the accounts in here Positive stuff is from the Profit Retriever, as always, a week six in here, we have the top five EAs. And the FTSE 100 is, is doing extremely well here at the moment with $430, or 4.3% for the week. And then we have the uh, Silver, managing $347, or 3.5%. The Gold is coming in on the third spot with $336, or 3.4%. And then the first Forex pair, EURUSD, $265 or 2.6%. And then finishing off with the Euro New Zealand, taking the top five with $252 or 2.5%. Overall, this is a very low week on the profit side, $1,629 or 3.3%. But still, uh, this happens and we can see that uh, you saw it on the money tree. We have seen it on the Profit Retriever and we'll see it also on a couple of the other EAs we have at the moment that the profit is a bit on the low side. If we go and have a look at the entire portfolio in here, our balance is over uh, half a million. The equity is just below half a million. We have a floating uh, minus at 55 at the moment and the whole history is 694 days old. So we're getting very, very close here now to almost uh, two years where we've been trading the profit retriever. And as you can see, the numbers are good. The graph is good. We have blown an account from time to time. But even if you take that out of the equation, it has been very, very profitable EA with plenty of different currency pairs, indexes and metals. Also, we have been trading. We can get them all to work over long periods of time. And that is basically the main part that we can find EAs like this. And if we have a closer look at the graph also again, beautiful graph, of course, weekly and monthly returns is a bit low because we are not updating our lot sizes. We always keep them the same because all the accounts is on the copy link service. And it means that you have to trade them on $10,000 accounts as a minimum. If we have a look at the entire history, uh, it's hard to see uh, that much history, but it goes back to 2022, July. Uh, we started it back in March, but you can see how the development has been. And for January, we made 16,920, which I showed in the last week's news report. And for February, we are a bit low on the profit at the moment, only 4,748. Uh, and that also goes, as I explained before, it seems to have been a very slow week overall for the trading. Now you can obviously find a lot more details on our website as usual. You can go and have a look at the entire portfolio is up here on that particular button. We give you some information on so on how you uh, might be able to, to trade again the uh, profit retriever regarding metals and indexes. And you can go and have a look at the individual currency pairs in here also. Simply click on them and you will also find uh, the drawdowns and uh, the length of the trades. Everything else will be there for you to analyze. 
And if that is too much for you, then we suggest that instead of pushing this particular button here on our website, where we explain everything about the setup and the trading, you simply jump over to the copy link trading instead. And then we can do that for you or somebody else within the expert 4x coupling service can do that too. You can simply compare all the signals in here. It's entirely up to you what type of EAs you can mix and match them as you should and build up your portfolio to make sure it is strong and it is very, very stable over time. Stable over time is also the Trade Explorer. Trade Explorer is also a bit low on this particular week here. The 22 pair only made $59 or 0.6%. So nothing uh, to cheer um, fantastically about. 10 pair one did a bit better, $192 dollars of 1.9 percent so it continues to do quite well from time to time it cashes in really big it's not too long ago that the 10 pair one made over a thousand dollars in one week but definitely we will still take about almost two percent or around two hundred dollars in one week because we know it will be there it will come back again next week and we'll have to see how much that's going to be and if we have a look at the 22 pair, the graph itself, we can see already the equity has doubled. We started off with a $10,000 account. So we are now double. And what you should normally do is basically take the equity away and uh, de-risk yourself $10,000. You can either use them for a vacation, you can use them for your kids or your spouse, or you can go in and set up an additional trade with different settings uh, and you can set it up with the different EAs, whatever it is you want. It is very important that you de-risk yourself to make sure that now you can basically run two accounts instead of one and hopefully you'll get something similar. Monthly returns is 8% as you can see in here. Um, that seems to be a, a factor that uh, I noticed that particular week, which is also why we're going to go into the slow and steady approach here. 270 days for the 22 pair account so it's been doing quite well and as you can see it is uh, very difficult to see the percentage of all of them because you have these 22 accounts up here it becomes a bit easier when you go to the 10 pair one also this one here again equity is now almost at 25,000 and also in here you could if it this would be your own account you take the 10,000 off you build up a new account and then you continue and now you will have that double income and the income for that particular one here is 10.5 percent on average 2.4 on a weekly basis and the same history data you have 270 days so there is plenty of data in here you can see the 10 currency pairs that we have and you can also manage to see most of the percentage so there is a good spread overall the purple one that we have in here is the great british pounds japanese that seems to be the one that has more number of trades. It's also a bit more of a volatile currency pair. Going to the Wave Liberator. This is for week six. This is the top five EAs that we have in here. And this is the ones that we are calculating as it was traded on a $1,000 account. And again, if you have these five accounts in here, you can basically relate and see the profit you would have had. New Zealand USD is $55 or 5.5% for the week. Great British Pounds USD is closely followed with $42 or 4.2%. And right after Aussie Swiss francs, $41 or 4.1%. US Japanese a bit further down with only $24 or 2.4%. And Great British Pounds Japanese with $21 or 2.1%. Overall, if you would have had these five accounts here, and that means $1,000 on each, so $5,000 in total, you would have made $183 or 3.7% for the week. That's obviously quite nice and also relates to far over 10% for the month, even though this is a very low result for this particular week. Now, the overall portfolio that we also have, we have currently... 13 accounts in here we are expanding on them we simply need a bit more time and effort to put it in there but the equity has gone up to almost 140 now there is a high floating profit now we say hi this is uh, pretty much uh, a bit unusual for that particular account but still uh, 753 even if you had it on a hundred thousand uh, dollar account instead of the 140 we have now 
you will still be only at 0.75%. And that is definitely good enough to have it in there for FTMO trading. Or you can also, as we uh, show you here, you can see the total return, month return 1.6, weekly return is 0.4. And then again, you have the history of 174 days. So very, very stable results and an extremely nice curve. Just very, very smooth. All the currency pairs you have over here. And the idea is now that you can go in and take this particular account and you say, okay, I don't want to use it for propriety trading. I don't want to use it for FGMO trading, uh, but I want to basically trade it and I'll build my own risk strategy in here. Originally, as I mentioned, all of the accounts is uh, running on $10,000 accounts. In this particular case, for the Forex Liberator. So, um, and that also means that when you are setting it up like this, you are well within the reach of trading this one on a $100,000 account. Um, and that will also increase the monthly profit overall because it's calculating by the 140 at the moment. But anyway, if we decided that, uh, okay, we uh, will not do the propriety trading, but we will increase our lot size instead. And you can increase that, maybe not from the 1000 to the 10,000, so uh, 10 times. But you say, well, I will increase my risk, but I don't want to take too much. I want to get around 8%. And the 8% here would be a lot factor of five in here. So that will give you instead 8% on the monthly return. The weekly return will then also go up to about 2%. And then you can have a look, see if the drawdown is actually still acceptable to you. And then you can increase it further. So just remember the 8% that we have in here again. Um, obviously, if you want to go uh, and increase it all the way up to uh, from $1,000 accounts uh, and then increase it up to a factor of 10 then your monthly returns will be 16 and your weekly returns will be four and again you can see all the numbers we have in here you can see the graph and you will have to see also the net profits that is being uh, produced for this particular ea very very stable in the beginning we didn't have too many eas but since then uh, things have looked forward so in November 2100 and for December 2300, January again a bit lower 2100 and at the moment as you can see also here we are a bit low $461 only. Um, so obviously February we hope is going to uh, speed up a bit at some point. It is a bit below uh, our expectations for the past three months but so is the Forex market sometimes. Now I mentioned before we we're going to go through a bit of uh, just slow and steady wins the race and one of the things uh, that I decided to do this particular week here is you can look at the initial investment so if you go back and have a look at the wave liberator you had the five accounts so you have with each one thousand dollars so five thousand dollar investment in here you increase the lot size so it matches exactly what it is that you want to do so let's say that you are aiming for about 8% of profit on a monthly basis. And then hopefully you will be in the game for around five years. Uh, and then if you have additional uh, deposits, anything else, we have done that at just zero. We only invest one time. But you will be able to see that if you did additional investments every month or every quarter, definitely things will go a lot, lot faster. Uh, compounding interval it will be on a monthly basis uh, so basically just once a month you will update it because you will not continue to do the lot size increase uh, on a daily or weekly basis and then you simply hit the calculator button and what you get out of it at the end of the day is your initial balance is here 5000 your interest rate is 8 that we have and then you can see the yearly breakdown you're starting uh, year zero with five thousand dollars in here and then if you are trading for example the wave liberator you had after the first year so if you keep that uh, rating okay you will have seven thousand five hundred to add to your five thousand in here already and every single month you will open new accounts uh, if those are one thousand dollar accounts you can then open around seven for that particular part in here you end up uh, with 
12 accounts of 1000 and then you reinvest it again you continue to uh, in year two get around 19,000 so definitely more than double again from the year before you now have a total trading balance of 31,000 so that now means that you could have either uh, 15 trading accounts that you are now trading at double lot size or if you can uh, basically put the time and effort in put up 30 different accounts here instead and then from there on you can start increasing the lot size so you have the 30,000 you continue to again uh, add new EAs to it and you're actually managing also uh, another profit of 48,000 for that year so after three years you are now close to the $80,000 mark which is definitely not too bad but then look what happens here in year four you are basically getting a six-figure income, $121,000. Uh, and that basically gets your balance up to $200,000 here at the end of the day. So you continue to open new accounts. You continue to draft in new types of EAs. And you can also increase the lot size so uh, to just match some of the accounts uh, if you ha don't have enough EAs here. And for year five, you are then all of a sudden having a very large six-figure amount, $305,000. And you're ending up actually with half a million in your trading portfolio. And five years earlier, 60 months earlier, you simply started off with 5,000. And that's what we mean. We see a lot of YouTubers, we see a lot of traders saying, you know, if we are making 10, 15 or 25% per month, then that is great and we can get to this particular point in less than two years. But I think it's highly unrealistic and certainly extremely risky. If you have your own strategy, so be it. Uh, please go buy it. But we are trying simply to get somewhere between 8 and 15%. If we get to 15, that also means that the drawdowns and the risk is going to be increased uh, too much for our liking. But an interest of even eight, as you can see, low and steady wins the race. After five years, you already have uh, more than half a million. And from there on, you can just imagine how fast that will go. You can go and play with all these uh, compounding calculators yourself in here. Um, but definitely, I don't want to show you too big of a numbers because I also think they are too unrealistic. Now, unrealistic is not the wave liberator because I have shown you this now. You can see that they can be traded on $1,000 accounts. But again, we always encourage you to maybe use uh, an account of 3000 That is one way of lowering your risk. And also for the coupling service, you can also lower the lot factor. So you are trading uh, with one third or maybe 50% of what we are doing. It's entirely up to you. You and you alone, as always, are responsible for your own trading. But we are trying to provide you with as much details in here as possible. So you can always click on it. You can always see the drawdowns and the limitations of the accounts. And obviously also how much they are making at the end of the day. Now we're also coming to uh, the end here. And that's where we have Expert Forex. A couple of videos from Alex this particular week where he says, again, imagine hundreds of trading robots working for you. And what he's talking about here is the copy link service where last time I was in there, there was 106 links that you can actually link up to with the profitable traders, including ourselves and Alex and quite a few other people that wants to get their hands into the trading here and show you exactly what they can do. We show it both on our website and you can also find all of this on the Expert Forex copy link site. Further to this, Alex made another video here regarding prop firm trading millionaire trading and how you actually are supposed to run your lot sharing strategies. And again, this comes back to something similar as we have discussed here today, that you will, depending on what kind of uh, profits you want, what kind of drawdowns you want, you can increase or decrease your lot size to get exactly your risk strategy in there, similar to what I've just shown to you also with the Wave Liberator. So if you think it's making too much money and too high risk, you simply just decrease the lot size or the lot factor if you're on the coupling service, and then you are trading more safely. 
Last but not least, also Alex is asking us uh, why you need or telling us why you need to demo test in the account linking service for minimum 10 trades. And what he's talking about in here is again, copy link service, but where sometimes the traders in here that are copying other traders getting different results. And this could be because of uh, the location of the servers. It could be because of the brokers uh, times of when they're open, when they're closed. And there's many, many other things in here. And he's basically suggesting that in the beginning, as you always should, uh, open up a demo account and uh, trade minimum 10 trades and then see how those trades pan out compared to the uh, trader that you are copying. And then from there on, you can then see if this is actually uh, a level that you're happy with, first of all. Second of all, you also might have to make some adjustments in order to get to the same profit levels uh, that the initial trader has. And that's what we had for you in this week's news report. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope once again that we gave you some good information, some valuable updates on what exactly is going on with our investments and portfolio. And hopefully I will see you next week again. So until then, bye bye. I hope you enjoyed our news report. So please don't forget to like and add your comment below as we would love to get your feedback. But before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to keep the notification bell turned on. That way, you will never miss any of our future videos. We hope to see you back on this channel very soon.